Let's talk about PRK post-operative instructions. Realize that your doctor might have a different variation. Most people feel discomfort starting 30 to 90 minutes after surgery when your anesthetic is worn off. It might feel like an eyelash is stuck in your eye. This is normal and usually is gone after a week. The bandage contact lens that your surgeon placed on your eye after PRK prevents this pain from being extreme. Don't remove that lens. If the lens is to fall out, do not put it back in. See your doctor immediately, and in the meantime, keep your eyes closed as much as possible. Your pain can be controlled with your prescription eye drops, over-the-counter pain medication, and preservative-free artificial tears. In fact, for the first 20 days after surgery, you should use your artificial tears frequently in between your medicated drops. A cold washcloth or ice pack can also help with pain in a 10 minutes on, 10 minutes off pattern. Most of the time, your doctor will remove the bandage contact lens after five to seven days, and you should have minimal pain from that point. Your vision will also start to improve after removal of the contact lens. When you get home, rest your eyes and you can sleep one to two hours afterwards. This will start the healing process. Keep your eyes closed as much as possible in the day after surgery. You should set an alarm for yourself when you're sleeping so you can use your artificial tears and your eye drop medications at the right increments. You'll also need to wear the eye shield you have been given for the entire first day and also the five to seven days after surgery whenever you sleep. This prevents you from rubbing your eyes while sleeping. And when you're awake, make sure to blink normally and don't squeeze the eyes closed or rub them. You should not drive or operate machinery on the first day after surgery. And most people feel confident and safe to drive five to seven days afterwards. Your eyes might also be watery, blurry, sensitive to light or red in the first day, and sometimes longer. You might also have a runny nose. This is all normal. Sometimes the dry feeling can persist for weeks, and frequent use of your artificial tears should help. Now let's talk about your vision after PRK. For days to weeks after surgery, it is normal for your vision to go in and out of focus. Most people have substantially improved vision at one month after surgery, and the majority have very good vision by three months. You can expect distance vision to get better faster than reading vision, although the amount of improvement in reading vision will depend on your age. Your close-up vision may be hazy in the beginning. In the first weeks, you might have night glare, which is normal and gradually goes away in most people after six months. If it seems like your eye isn't healing correctly, or you are having persistent pain, redness, blurred vision, or discharge, you should seek attention of your physician. Infection is a rare complication of PRK, but it is the most serious problem to look out for. This is also why we ask you to return to clinic the day after surgery and in the days and weeks following. So, what can and can't you do after surgery? Here's what you can do. TV and reading are okay in moderation for the first few days. Sunglasses should be worn any time you have exposure to the sun. You can resume your normal light exercise routine after two weeks, as long as it doesn't involve contact sports or risk to your eye. Contact sports and other activities which carry eye risk can be restarted one month after surgery. Most people can return to work after three to four days. Here's what to avoid. Keep water out of your eyes in the shower or bath for one month. Avoid drying off your eyes by rubbing or bumping with a towel. Don't swim or go in the hot tub for one month. Don't use makeup or aftershave for one week. And stay away from dirt and dust. Don't forget about the medicated drops you were given after surgery. You should take these drops exactly as they are prescribed and according to your doctor's instructions. 
you may begin putting them in four hours after surgery, unless instructed otherwise by the doctor. They will sting a little bit. You'll want to use these medications five minutes apart from each other, so you do not wash one drop out with the other. A good way to keep track of all your drops is to take them at breakfast, lunch, dinner, and bedtime. Lastly, be sure to adhere to your follow-up appointments with your physician.